just to be clear, it was uh, it was a gift, um, and it won and it was uh, and it was one can. Anheuser Busch just wants to move forward. More than two months after trans activist Dylan Mulvaney's sponsored Instagram post featuring a can of Bud Light led to a boycott by conservative customers, a loss in sales and transphobic comments aimed at the TikToker. Anheuser-Busch CEO Brendan Whitworth addresses the fallout in a June 28th CBS Mornings interview. It's been a challenging uh, few weeks, and I think the, the conversation surrounding Bud Light has moved away from beer, uh, and the conversation has become divisive. And Bud Light really doesn't belong there. Bud Light should be all about bringing people together. In her April post, Dylan revealed the brewing company had sent her a Bud Light can bearing an image of her face to celebrate the first anniversary of her transition. As for Anheuser-Busch's intentions, Brendan says this. Just to be clear, it was, uh, it was a gift um, and, it won and, it was, uh, and it was one can. Uh, but for us, you know, as we, as we look to kind of the future and we look to moving forward, we have to understand um, the impact that it's had. And like I said, you know, uh, that, that impact has, has taken place. But it's the impact on our employees, the impact on our consumers, and as well, the impact on our partners. And I think I want, one thing that I'd love to make extremely clear uh, is that impact is my responsibility. But when asked if he could go back, whether or not he would still send Dylan the Bud Light can, Brendan didn't outright answer. Knowing what you know now, if you could go back, would you send this can to this one person again? There's a, a big social conversation taking place right now, and big brands are right in the middle of it. And it's not just our industry or Bud Light. It's happening in retail. It's happening in fast food. And so for us, what we need to understand is deeply understand and appreciate is the consumer. Although he did note that financial assistance was sent to wholesalers affected by the decline and that Anheuser-Busch was also announcing an investment for frontline employees. In a previous statement to Twitter amid the initial backlash, Brendan wrote, We never intended to be part of a discussion that divides people. We are in the business of bringing people together over a beer. This response drew criticism from many members of the LGBTQ plus community. However, after he was asked directly on CBS Mornings if sending the can to Dylan was, quote, a mistake, Brendan answered, Bud Light has supported LGBTQ since 1998, so that's 25 years. And as we've said from the beginning, we'll continue to support the communities and organizations that we've supported for decades.